Hello guys, my name is Biffa and welcome to Life in Bunker. The world has been destroyed, we are living underground and base building. This game reminds me very much of a cross between Planet Base and Rimworld. So let's start a new game, hopefully you've got your cups of teas with you. We're going to start the Bunker LP world, there we go, I'm going to go for... Let's go for small for now, we'll see how it goes, and let's immediately pause the game and see what's going on here. We'll have a bit of an explanation as to what's happening. So this is our bunker, underground, this is the way in, these are our people here, Quentin, Bob, great name, Ned, Cena, Jenny, and Lucille. What? She Welsh? Bodida to you as well. We have our resources along the top, how many people, how much science research we have, how much rubbish we've been collecting, building materials, you need to keep an eye on that, we get more by mining the ore over here, which we'll get to, um, let's get the guys doing something while I'm talking, let's have a look, can we mine out here, over to this ore, yes we can, so let's get them to do that, we'll mine out there, yep, let's assign some workers, Four workers. We also need a couple of engineers. We don't have any farmers yet. Can I have more than four workers? I can. Uh, farmers, scientists, cooks. We don't need those yet. Okay. Let's have a look at our people. As far as I know, with their professions, each of them have the same abilities. So if someone's a cook, they're as good as the next cook. That's basically how I understand it. Let's just start the game off. There we go. They're now wearing blue overalls, and they should... Ah, oh, they won't start digging that out until I've destroyed that and that. Aha, there we go. They're going to get going now. Good, good. So what do we have here? Let's have a look around. We have 40 fish stored in here. We have an incubator to make some more humans. We have our mini reactor for our power. Our water pump for our water. We have our storage for ore. There we go. We have some ore already that we can turn into building materials, which is good. Have building materials in these two, so we want to use those up. That's for rubbish, that's for air, that's an air purifier, two small ones and a big one. Okay, and the incubator. So we want to get them mining this, we also want to get, uh, let me think, some more food going, because that food will soon go. I don't think we can destroy these ones, no, but all of this can go, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, there's some mole men over there. These are like the bad guys that we get. So we need to watch out for those. There we go. You get going with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to start building some walls up here. There we go. We'll say, okay, he's disappeared. Oh, here he comes. He's going to... Is he coming through? I don't think he can walk over that. So as long as we keep that blocked off, we should be okay. So what I might do here, actually, is if I clear out a little bit more of this, and we'll have a wall coming across here, maybe with a door to get out to the mine. I think that might be a good idea. There we go, they're all working away. Excellent. And I'm going to do that one there as well. In fact, I want to make this room a lot bigger. So I'm going to clear out as much of this as I can. There we go. Keep an eye on the food. The food has always been the thing that's caused me the problem when I've played this before. So that is what we need to keep an eye on. Let's add some more walls. So if I go... I'm not quite sure how big the mine is. Let's just add that in. Let's have a look. We've got lots of other things we can build down here. Lots of things. Research we can do. So much stuff. Uh, the mining machine. That is pretty small, actually. Yeah, we won't, won't place that yet. We'll leave that one. Uh, I'm going to put a door. How big is the double door? That is pretty big. Let's just put a single door there. And then we're going to carry on with our wall like that. There we go. This is going to need some power. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking like a nice roof. Oh, automatic doors. Yeah, we know about that. Let's just pause the game and add some power and stuff in. Uh, I can remember which one that is in. Here we go. So, power cables. We can run those basically through anything, uh, more or less. We can run them through the walls. Something to keep in mind, when you're assigning jobs to be done, 
uh, they can only reach, so if my person was standing here, they could reach the blocks up, down, left and right, and diagonal. Um, so I couldn't, for instance, put a power cable here, because there's nowhere they could stand to reach that block. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm just going to run my power cable up this wall. Is that going to clip in the side? Yeah, it's like a little internal, it's like an input port there. So if we do that, uh, also we have water pipes. There we go, we can run around. Um, and we can have a look at our utilities, see how much we're using, which we're doing fine. Research we're not at yet. Uh, events, nothing's happened. We've had no cave-ins, which is good. Normally by now we might have had a cave-in. Alright, so let's think what we're doing here. Let's. I'm going to keep it paused a bit as we go along. I'm just going to place... Uh, no, I don't want that there. Uh, let's see, if I do that, that and that, and then I'm going to add some doors in... So we can always, there we go, let's unpause, get them to do that. So this, I think we're going to make a cooking area. Let's put some flooring down here. Uh, let's just check actually for cooking. Cooking, shower pods we're going to need, kitchen. Where's the food? This is the one I want, a vegetable patch. Can only be built on metal floors. Okay, oh what's that? Oh, it's telling me we've built the door. I think if we left click on that, single door constructed. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We can get rid of those. So the vegetable patches are pretty big. I don't think you need to have access to both sides of that. So you can literally put it up against a wall as long as it's got uh, a metal floor. So we could put one here, one here, and one here by the look of it. And I think the metal floor would have to be too wide. Let's see. Let's do a thin metal floor first which is this one, all along there. Let's see how that goes. Oh, they're going to need power, aren't they? Let's add some power cable, so that can come out and stay in the wall and go in there. Whoa, small earthquake. There we go, that'll connect those together. Where's the earthquake? Nope, wrong button. There we go, just there. A cleaner will come and hoover that up for us. Do we have any cleaners? Probably not. There we go, janitor, we do have one now. They'll come and just hoover that up for us. Oh, the floor's been done. Okay, well, let's have a look. See if we can place our vegetable patches there. We can. One. We can fit two in. Um, I'm wondering whether just to do one for now. Let's do one for now. Because we're going to need to get water and power over to that. I think it's water and power. Let's just wait until that's constructed. And then we could do with putting some more floor around the rest of this place as well. So we've got some nice different coloured rooms going on here. I'm going to want to put a kitchen in here at some point. So I may see about doing that first. It's a shame actually having these two... There we go, it's done. Let's have a look. What does it need? Yeah, power and water. Okay. I probably shouldn't have put a door here, actually, because that sort of cut off the space. Maybe we could take this one out. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to... Nope, can't do that. Can I disassemble that door? I can. Let's disassemble that door. We'll put the wall, and then we can build out this way, because we have a rift. So if you want to go down and build another level, we can do that. So, yep, yeah, they'll disassemble that door. Let's see about putting a kitchen in. So I think the kitchen's going to go here. And does that have to be placed on anything particular? No, it doesn't. So we'll have food, we'll have kitchen, and then we'll have a canteen table in the middle. And this will be our sort of eating area. That might even go here. Yeah, okay, that's a good plan. Let's unpause. We'll get them to get rid of that, and we'll stick a wall back in here. There we go. And I believe if you've got your floor nicely covered, a floor will put a roof in automatically for you. So you don't have to worry. There we go. What's that on the floor there? Materials. Oh, okay. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> You're going to go and stand in the door, but not go anywhere because the door doesn't lead anywhere. Fair enough. All right, let's put in our kitchen. Uh, why not? Is that because of these materials here? Oh, yeah, probably is. There we go. They've gone. 
Let's put in our kitchen. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll need to cook for that, but we'll get to that. I want to make sure we're self-sufficient, that we're making enough stuff. We could actually... I didn't realise we'd had some ore. We could set up a processing area around here somewhere, I reckon. Let's destroy a little bit more of this. Got to watch out for the mole men. Yeah, let's take out a load there. There we go. So now we can assign a cook. What's that message there? Let's have a look. The mole men just dug up a hole. Oh, look, they've dug up a hole in the middle. Okay, but they disappeared in a puff of red smoke. Oh, and we've had a cave in because we've got no floor. Do you know what? We should really put a floor in here. Let's do that first before we expand too far. What should we have? Should we have a blue... A nice blue path going from door to door. And then, Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll have... We'll have red around it. Yeah, why not? Okay, until the, that's cleaned up, we can't build there. Um, I'm wondering whether to have another door here or not. Um, I think doors will keep mole men in one place or another, but they can't dig up three floors. So we'll just do that. We'll keep them going, that's fine. Uh, earthquake, mole men, dug up. Yeah, we've read all of that. Let's take a look at our people. So we're going to need a cook. We have two people that can actually be a cook. So I'm wondering whether... Let's make you a cook. Oh, we need a farmer as well, of course. Um, we'll make you a farmer. That'll be good, yep. Yeah, so that'll keep them busy. Let's add a piece of red floor in there now. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Good, good. Keeps you busy. Why are you wandering into the corner there? So, cooked meals. Select the maximum number of ingredients available for cooking on this kitchen. Well, we only have one at the moment, which is fish. Uh, this one doesn't have power and water, of course. I think I went to do that before, got distracted, quite likely. Let's have power. We can add power in. We can actually loop it through. That has power. So, we can loop it through there. There we go. And then water, we need to run that quite a distance, don't we? Um, and these pipes all run underground, so it's not a problem. Uh, we're more likely to expand this way. So I'm wondering whether... Let's go as close as we can. Uh, they're not going to be able to build a pipe. Oh, yes, they can. Yeah, they can build a pipe there, there. Yeah. Just making sure that they can get to the spots I'm putting the pipes. They can get to that one there, that one there. Yep, there we go. That'll be added in. Yep. Does the kitchen need water as well? It does. Okay, so we'll run that water pipe a little bit further. We'll connect... Has that got an output there? It has. We'll connect that there. There we go. So that should... You're wandering around. You're slacking off. You're walking. Okay. Go on, and you carry on walking. That should be fine when that water gets connected. Here they go. Look, they're building the water pipes. Quick sip of tea. There we go. Let's just check our water usage. Okay, we've got 17% left. Power and O2 is okay. Yep, there we go. What's this? Conduct electricity. You can turn that on and off. That's right, yeah. If you connect them together, they will automatically pass water and electricity through each other. Oh, what's this? Somebody's ill. Oh dear. Well, that's not good, is it? Cena. And we don't have any medical places yet, do we? That's something else we don't have. How's our building supplies going? Not too bad. Let's just check out how our people are at the moment. What needs do they have? Toilets and cleanliness. Yeah, we need to set up a bedroom somewhere. This area here is going to be for the refinery. I think. But over here, we could have the bedroom and stuff. Let's take out a double door area there. And then we can literally remove all of this. 
think that's already empty, isn't it? Or we just can't see it. Let's take out temper drill bit needed for that. Okay, we'll go as far as there. Yeah, let's do that. So this bit I'll have. Oh, let's unpause. This bit I'll have the ore refinery. So we need to have. Let me think. Let me think, let me think. Production, what do we need that to go on? A concrete floor cover. So let's put concrete floor. If I remember rightly, this thing is like four by four. Let's have a look. Production, refinery, yes. Ah, uh, no, four by, three by two. <laughs> four by four, what am I talking about? Three by two, I can't count. So let's add another couple there. Not going to bother with the wall out here. This is like our production area. There we go. Can you just destroy that and that for me? Hopefully that's okay. Oh, you're working over there. Good. We're going to add another door over here, which is this one. Is that not big enough? I thought it was. Let's remove that one. There we go. Workers are working. The cooks are cooking. Yes. So I'm not quite understanding where these meals will get stored. So these vegetables are working. We'll start getting some vegetables. We need somewhere to store the vegetables. Building materials. Building materials. We need to use up some of these building materials so we can store food in there. So let's put a single door in there. Let's run power. We've got that's fine. Uh, yep. Let's put our all refinery in here. There we go. Oh, oxygen level has begun to decrease by the population's rapid growth of where forty air purifier. Ah, let's have a look at our air purifiers. Yep, that's forty. I would say we'll increase the service priority on that. I think that's how much it produces. That's producing none at the moment. Let's have a look. Oh. Well, we've still got 99%, so we're okay. I wouldn't worry too much about that. That will get serviced. We have two engineers, so... Not overly worried. Let's... Have a look. How are they doing over here? They're doing good. So I think we'll turn this into a nice room. Let's put some walls in. We've got walls there. Let's make this a bigger room. I want space. Let's take out all of that. That would be the last one we can take out there. There we go. I think that'll do. Yep. Built the thing. Excellent. So I don't know where it stores our meals, whether... See, we're going down on the food now. Because we did have somewhere to store vegetables, didn't we? Oh, we've got fish. No, of course, we've got fish in there. We can change that to vegetables, so we basically need another fridge. Ah. Let's put a fridge in. Where's that going to be? Let's just pause a second. Life support... Big reactor, mini reactor, water switchboard, farming, is it under? Okay, let's start from the beginning. Doors and lifts, no. Life support, mini reactor, big reactor, power switch, water pumps, air purifier. Shower pod and toilets, this is what this room's going to be up here. Oh, canteen table, they've got nowhere to eat, have they? Hey, I clicked on it and it went. There we go, that was going to go in here, wasn't it? Can that sort of go in the middle there? Yeah, they can walk around that. Yep, so they've got somewhere to eat. Good. Storage. Ah, fridge. Takes 75. That is quite big. Can we sort of squeeze that in the corner there? We can. Could we put it near this other fridge? Not really. Um... What about in here? I mean, I wanted to try and keep rooms set up for what they need to be used for, but... 
Um, yeah, let's put the fridge in here because this is where our food's being made. We're going to be making a lot of vegetables, so let's put that. Let's put that there. Okay, that's some things to be getting on with. Let's leave them doing that. There we go. That is now taking these and making building materials. So fridges. What else can they hold? Let's have a look. No, I'm assuming that's vegetables, grain, fruit. Uh, sorry, fish, grain, fruits, vegetables, and anything. I'm assuming. Okay, here we go. This is a nice big room. Let's... Oh, moment! Yep, they're taken care of. Let's start doing some of this. And also, let's remove those and we'll carry on the wall up there and I don't think we need to have any special type of flooring in for their bedroom so hopefully that's okay oh here we go let's just have a look at our fridge so that's saying it can store anything I want to put vegetables in there so what are they fish grains fruits vegetables I assume that's not nothing I assume that's anything but we're going to store vegetables in there because we're making vegetables on here and then, yep, we can start making meals with fish and vegetables. We put two in there, would that do that then? We'll have to see once these have been... Oh, it's been harvested, let's look. See where that goes. Oh, let's add some more walls in here, there. Oh, 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 cave in. Where was that? Out here somewhere probably, yeah, there it is. Not to worry. 100% cultivation, 94. I want this vegetable figure to go up and then to be stored in here. That is my that is my plan. Yeah, because it shows how much is stored. Yeah, eight vegetables. Nice. So we've got that selected on two. So does that mean they're going to use fish and vegetables? I guess we're going to find out in the next episode. Guys, if you've enjoyed Life in Bunker, please leave a like. Please show support for this new series. I've got big plans for it. I'm really enjoying it so far. I think it's going to take off like planet base. We can do a lot. There's a lot to lot to do, a lot to see. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe as well. You can see on the screen some of the other games that I make. Well, I don't make them, I play them. And uh, yes, if you'd like to see them as well, hit subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of Life in Bunker. Take care. Bye-bye.